Hi. Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. All right. So I have some questions from um, previous channeling sessions with him where um, ha that have been put together for me. And so we're going to come through with this, okay? However, before we start, I just want to come into my heart space and really feel the energy of peace that is connected to Bruce Lee. And I'm gonna ask you to imagine, to really visualize in your mind's eye, whether you know him or not, whether you're a fan or not, it doesn't matter. Just, just visualize in your mind's eye that beautiful yin yang symbol, that balancing symbol, that black and white that harmony symbol. And let's just feel into our heart space while you're visualizing that so that you can receive some peace. I would love that from this conversation, please. I would really, really appreciate that if that's possible for me. He says, it's always possible. Peace is, however, a discipline. Many would potentially deny that, yet it is. It is. Peace is a discipline? That's interesting, isn't it? So peace is a discipline, yes. Okay, so he's coming right in front of me. Peace is a discipline. It provides much needed structure. There is a mistake that many make to seek to understand life. Mm. It is not to be understood, it is to be experienced. And only when you are able to be quiet, to find calm inside of you, then then you can understand what life is truly. It is in a breath, one to the next breath. Wow, okay, I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling what you're saying. Oh, there's really this transcendent energy and I can feel the the energy like lifting up sort of out of my head, like the energetics of the, just the thoughts and the, the restriction in the mind and, and just this feeling of just real calmness. Take a nice breath in everyone. Feel the embodiment of this peace, this structure discipline. How do we access this, Bruce? How do we, how do we as humans in this time, this life now, right now, it is so different now than it was when you were on the earth. How do we humans access this now? Oh, I see an image, okay. It is to be present. It's not perfection that you seek, it's the timing. It's the rhythm. Mm, he says the timing is the timing, is what he's saying. Time. Like a candle being blown out. It's the time. The moment of time. And the next. And the next, and the next, what do you perceive to be in each moment? To arrive on time, you must be practiced, versed in the timing of things, the nature of life. And it is with breath, that is the practice, breath. 
like he's showing me breathing, like this ability to hold your breath and to expand room in your lungs for life to be lived, for the air to fill the lungs and for the mind to empty out the limited thoughts of humanity, of what the body is limited by, and instead to fill it with the possibility or this limited potential, limitless potential. I feel that. Do you feel that too? I just felt really tight in my shoulders and my back. And I want to, I personally want to harness this power because Bruce, I'm, I'm seeking peace, but I'm also seeking forgiveness. I'm seeking to learn about how I can forgive, to just let there be love. Is that even possible? I mean, truly, is it possible? So many of us are in that place, I think. Is that even possible? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Oh, calling me out, aren't you? Figured that would happen. He says it does not happen through avoidance. You can't avoid the pain forever. It will catch you eventually. This is why it's difficult for you to rest. This is why it is difficult for you to find peace because when you are in a state of peace, you are blissfully connecting from one breath to another and getting in sync with the rhythm of life. You arrive on time for all of it, for everything. The dead weight of what is holding you back or what you perceive to be holding you back is, is pain. And that can only be relieved in forgiveness. Yeah, yes. And I'm asking him in my head, I'm like, well, what about love? Like, how does that work into it? You know, because like, if the pain is wrapped in love and you let go of the pain, then do you let go of the love? And he says, ah, hmm. it's like, that's a good question. He says, the connection between the two transcends. When one is brave enough to release the pain to forgiveness, it changes as does one who has experienced and held that pain into a state of blissful awareness. And it is in that state that you can connect to love. That is how, exactly how it grows, how it expands, how it reaches its potential love. Love comes deeper, broader, more evolved, than the limitlessness of the mind into a state of pure blissful awareness. And that's where you rendezvous with it in its purest form. And for those who have felt a depth of pain and or who have caused pain to others and feel the exchange of hurt with love, layered upon layered, the freedom that you seek is through forgiveness and of yourself for allowing yourself to be in a state where you were, oh, I'm going to say vulnerable, to be touched by pain. But it is not for the lack of love. It is for that desire the desire of it. No one else can understand this but you. It lives in you, in your body, and it hides the love that you know is there, is hiding in the pain. And forgiveness will be the freedom to let it go so that it can grow. You won't lose it. You've already lost it. By hiding it in pain, it can only grow when it's free. And that's where you will meet it again. Just kidding.
Thank you guys, give me a second. I can do this. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so let's ask some of your questions. I'm gonna move this light. It's very cloudy here today. It's just like Seattle. He said, huh, it's just like Seattle. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know I can do this. I'm strong enough to do this. I know I am. There's a lot here. So let's ask some of your questions. Bruce, is that okay? Okay. Let me get my specs on. <laughs> It's like me at night reading in bed. <laughs> okay. Bruce, do you feel like you fulfilled your life's purpose? What goals were you working on or would have liked to accomplish before you passed? Hmm. Says. Oh, that's interesting. He literally says there's nothing left undone. There's nothing left undone. He's super philosophical. I don't know. I, I kind of get the vibe that he was like that in, in, in human life, but he feels extraordinarily philosophical. There's nothing left undone, he says. What you are perhaps asking about is a, a feeling of, or a sense of losing time or um, not feeling complete. And he says, um, it is all in the perspective you have of time, he says. Nothing was lost or wasted. Nothing. Even the struggles or the frustrations and the humanness of life, he says, nothing was lost in my experience. Okay. Good. All right. All right. So this person is curious about your transition how was it? Do you miss human life on earth? Hmm. To miss it would assume that I was separate from my spirit. I wasn't. Okay. So the way he's explaining this is he's making me feel like in order to miss something, you have to, there's an assumed distance, a separation. But, and, and a level of loss in the separation. So separation amplifies loss. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Mm, separation amplifies loss. Did you hear that everyone? Okay, this is the energy from Bruce Lee. And now instead of direct channeling him, I'm feeling him in the heart space and sharing energetically what is coming in as the feeling of the information that he is transferring to us. All right, so it assumes a, a loss. It assumes a disconnection. And he says, um, I was not connected. I, I'm sorry, I was not disconnected. I was always connected, body, mind, and spirit. Interesting, because I usually say body, mind, heart, and soul, or body, mind, heart, and soul. And he says, body, mind, spirit. The three, body, mind, spirit. Wow, he's really showing me the elements too, earth, air, fire, water. He's really showing me the elements too and this movement fluidity of the elements and the motion of things and the fluidity of life. And through that, there is connection, this water-like energy, this flowing movement with water I see. And then I see the spinning, um, the energy of the lemmas gauge or the, the infinity sign, but it is actually the two wheels of that, just that beautiful, okay, just, and I'm really feeling this, okay, okay, oh my, balance, balance, the yin yang symbol, the balance, feeling the balance between the two, they're separate, but they are connected, oh god, they're separate, but they are connected, yeah, okay, sweet, okay, all right. 
he knew that he just made a kind of made a joke too now he said um like i was looking at i picked this up and i saw that what do you miss on you about human life and he's like the food he says um food <laughs> <laughs> even though he says he's very disciplined, it seems like with nutrition and food and stuff. But he said the food, like the freshness, the freshness. So I'm like, no donuts. He's like, no donuts. <laughs> I can't have donuts either. So it's okay. All right. So, um, all right. So there's also a question about timing. Um, did you know that you were going to leave the earth so young? And he says, I didn't think about death. I didn't think about it. It is a natural, normal thing that would happen, but I I never, um, I didn't dwell on it. He's saying, I didn't dwell on it. I didn't think about it. I didn't, then he's saying, I didn't have a sixth sense about it, no. And now I'm going to ask him, so did you, would you have wanted to know? And he says, as a human perhaps I could see the benefit of that. But if you're living your life fully, there's no need to know because you are contented in the knowing that you have lived each life, each of the days of your life fully to the fullest of your ability. So that, so there isn't this feeling of one more time or one more thing. Oh, I didn't ask you about your transition. He says it was quick. It was very quick. It was a, abrupt, he says, abrupt. And um, and he's saying he had a headache and it feels like he hit his head. I don't know if he actually hit his head. What's the deal back here? I'm sure he probably had, let me just say, obviously he did stunts and all that. Obviously he's probably had tons of concussions before we knew concussions were a big deal, huge deal. Remember, it used to be like, oh, you're fine. Just don't fall asleep. It's fine. Your head's really hard, you know? But it looks like the back of his head, it really hurts. So either he had he was hit or it was like a massive migraine kind of vibe. It's just not comfortable. But it's not unusual. He was saying it's it wasn't un, it wasn't unusual. It wasn't extreme. It was it wasn't extreme. He says, I wasn't feeling well. And and that was it. That was it. That was it. All of a sudden there was no more pain. Just done. And then he's not showing me like him and his body, him looking at his body, him leaving his body. He's just showing me he's here and then he's not. He's just spirit. And there's no like this feeling of, oh my God, I want my body and I don't know, none of that. He's just, there's a lot of peace with it. Just this really firm, really steady centered, peaceful energy. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Could you ask Mr. Bruce Lee if he experienced his light body in his meditation? Or when sparring with another, if he became one with the movement spirit of the partner? Not sparring against another, but being in, in attunement with the movement and synchronicity into a dance-like action, reaction, state of flow. Did he ever have these and other types of experiences that would be great can you talk to us about the spiritual experiences energetically of being kind of in that harmonization space that that yin yang balancing space can you talk about this a little bit this will be our last question mm. Mm. and it says mm, like like it's yummy <laughs> like oh that yes that feels good it says There is a harmony. There's a harmony of a movement, a flow of energy in exchange with another. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we're talking about sparring. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I'm gonna blush a little bit, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, and he's saying, come on, Bridget, focus. Okay, try, I'm trying. This is hard. This is a hard channeling for me to do, but I'm doing it. And I am really proud of myself. I wanted, I really wanted to do this. So flow, he says it's a flow. An exchange. He says you're kind of in this uh, 
really surreal place that you get to. And he says, it's this euphoric place that all this movement is happening and it's happening at like three times the speed of what normal movement would be. So as though you're like, he's showing me like watching a camera and you're moving really, really fast. And, and you, one minute you're standing and the next minute you're in the air and then the next minute you're standing again. But there's this missing these missing, these gaps of almost seems like time in between the, sh the frames is what he's showing me. But he says in person, when you're live, alive with someone else in that space, and I want to say sacred space, in that space, he says it's euphoric. It's like this incredible spiraling of energy. And it just, one body moves close and the other body moves with, and it's, uh, it's very intuitive. And he says, it's so, um, it's just like this time warp. It's like this slow motion, but so fast. And he says, it's just this balance of time, this balance of time. And it's just an incredible, he says, it's a rush. It's like this blissed out state. It's just this, just so, you. it's euphoric. It's like this orgasmic state of like, yeah, wow. Like, like you're not even attached to your body, but your body is, is you were just like honoring and feeling the energy inside the body while at the same time you're expressing outwardly. And there's this just real synergy between the inner and outer and the, the motion and the stillness and the pause and the release. And it's very... It's just such a beautiful, like really, you guys, he's like filling up my heart space and the throat chakra and just really like, oh, it's just this profound state of full embodied ecstasy. This is ecstasy. Ecstasy. Yeah. Okay, Ascended Master. Hello, Kundalini. Can we uh, bring ourselves back down into the body in earthly form, please, for the rest of us who have to like just go about our day? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Bruce Lee, Ascended Master. Just really feel like I need to like bow, like really definitely. Thank you for your presence and for supporting this special channeling today. I appreciate it. And for you viewers, thank you so much for watching here on Above Life channel on YouTube. I'm Bridget. You can also find me on Facebook at Bridget Inspired and on Instagram at Bridget Inspired as well. I hope that we have inspired your spirit today, filled you with hope and encouraged you as always, to live your life. This is your life after all. And you get to live it. Just live it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>